Hello YouTube and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm Tom and Brad and a big welcome to the new subscribers to the channel as well. Thanks very much for for joining me. And also a thank you to uh, let me just quickly check the names. iOS Pro Mods and Stephen Frisbee again here yeah, for your kind words of support for these videos. So last time we visited the island, which is whoop, over that way, away from the ship where that cloud is. And we also made a start building a base. This is the multi-purpose room. We had to find the blueprints to build that from the island just over there. Uh, oops, back over that way. So today the plan is, and if you just joined us, this is uh, episode five. So there are four of the videos you can watch at your leisure. Um, and I'm doing a let's play, um, not really a beginner's guide, but just a, an easy playthrough of um, Subnautica. And today, yes, we're going to expand on the habitat and uh, see what other mischief we can get up to. So we, at the minute, we can't get inside here because it doesn't have a door. So we've got the habitat tool ready. I'm going to right click and have a look for a hatch. And to make the hatch, we need quartz and titanium. So we have those already. So I think the entrance is going to be here. Let's have a look. Yeah, and then the expansion out there and also another expansion out this way. And then if you want, we could have another one coming out this way for another room. So I've got the ingredients, so let's get this built. There we are. Let me just click the mouse button to get in. All right, so we're slowly running out of oxygen as a stand in here, and there are no lights, so we need to get some power to this. So to do that, the quick and easy way is to put a solar panel on the roof and that should give us enough power to get us going for a little while so that's the next step so another right click exterior modules solar panel i need two quartz i have one of them uh, i have the titanium and the copper let's see if i've got some quartz in here yeah plenty that will do. And we'll go back to solar panel. There it is. I might want to expand up over. So I'm going to try and put this on a slightly jaunty angle on the side. And I'm trying to remember, yes, you can rotate with the mouse wheel very slowly. So that should give us enough room to expand on the top and not interfere. There we are, power restored. So let's go in and see now, hopefully we've got, yeah. Yeah, so we have lights and oxygen production. And there's a potential hatch there to take us up to another level. And these areas here to expand out the base. Now, which one should I do next? I'm thinking I'm going to keep this one for keep this one for the docking. Uh, so what's the opposite side to that one? Does it see that? You know, I can't. I think you can only have four ports coming off this. So the next one would be here. So if it's there, yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to put a tunnel here. Let's have a look. We have one of those, or if we had some glass, we could do a glass one, but I'm going to, going to do a, an observatory at some point, so I'm not worried about that. Now the X compartment has a splitter on it, so we could then branch off from that if we want. Let's, let's go for that, so we need some more titanium. Now you can usually find the ship wreckage around here where the, uh, the sort of those, those creatures are there, I forgot what they're called. 
because they collect it. They love uh, picking it up, chewing on it. Get that bit of copper while we're on. There we go. All right, so we've got enough titanium now, and let's if I go in the right direction, where is it? There. So I've picked up metal salvage, so I need to break that down into titanium. Let's quickly do that in here. There we go. So we should have more than enough now for the extension. I get the right one. Keep doing this. Where is it? It's that one. So on there, I want the four way. Yeah, that's good. There we go. All right, so let's have a quick look and see what sort of size. There we are. So it's added this bit of corridor on. And then obviously we can expand out from there. Excellent, that's pretty good. Now you can put windows in here as well, which I'm going to do, but um, should we just see? That just takes one glass. One glass, that's good. We can do that. Let's get some windows in. Uh, sorry, uh, better get the quartz first. So we can make two windows. Yeah, <clears throat> and where are they going to go? I think we'll have let's have one here. Yeah, look at that. And for the minute, let's have another one. I'm not sure if I'm going to expand out this way, but I might put some things against the wall on the inside there. Let's have another one here. Uh, hmm. Maybe this side. There we are. That looks good. Oh. Great. So we can see the escape pod from there yeah so I pressed the wrong button anyway what I've done is I've just put a, a fabricator on the side there and a radio so the fabricator was just in the right click of the habitat tool interior modules and picked the fabricator and had the ingredients and also the radio so that was my mistake, I pressed the wrong button to record. So this is now pretty much going to make the the survival pod uh, defunct really, apart from this has got the storage in it and the first aid kit. Yeah, so we've got that storage, which is obviously very handy and the first aid kit. So we can make those, but uh, I don't think they're essential at the minute, so we can just use this for storage. So let's see what else we need in here. Oh, it looks great. At, yes, look at that. Very nice. Uh, next, let's see what else do we need to build. We want a grow bed so we can start getting our own food on the go. But I quite liked the, the greenhouse type thing they had set up on the island with the uh, observatory. But you need enameled glass to make that. And how do we make enameled glass? So it's normal glass, 
plus a stalker tooth. Now the stalkers are the shark crocodile combinations. Now they drop teeth when they're playing about with their as my light. When they're playing about with the bits of scrap metal, yeah, the teeth do fall out. I'm not sure if there's any other way of getting them. I think possibly if you attacked it with a knife, I'm, and I'm not sure, but you can find them on the ground. So if we go to where the stalkers live, we can have a scout around. Not the best time of day to go. Can't even see where they are. There we are. So this is stalker territory, and there's one there. So we need to look down there on the ground for their teeth. And ideally we want a couple or more. And they look just like a long tooth. I'm trying not to get eaten while I'm doing this. Yeah, so while he's doing that, he's loosening his teeth. There's one. Don't get eaten. And is that another one? It is. We'll have, whoops, we'll have that. And have we got any more? Keep watching. I think I'll go and get some oxygen. Hang on, pet. Uh, I can see one there. That's it. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I would like another one because I have a feeling it's... Let's just have a quick check of how much we need. So, habitat. Observatories. Two enameled glass. Right, I, want to... I think it was one tooth per enameled glass, I think. So we should have enough. So I'm going to build the observatory, put in a, a grow bed or two and see how many we can fit. Come here, little fella. So enamel glass is one stalk tooth and one glass and glass is just the quartz and we've got some left in here we'll just check how much there is so let's make the glass two glass and two enameled glass was it two enamel glass? Oh, let me just check. Yeah. Okay, let's go out and see where we're going to put the observatory. I'm thinking off one of these. I think this one right here. It'll let me. That didn't seem right. Hmm. 
No, that doesn't seem right. Mm, where have I gone wrong there? Can it not come off one of these? See, it's putting that door at the side there. I feel like that should... Does it have to go on the end one? Looks like it has to go on the end one, right? Well, that's going to change things a little bit. So, if we put it on the... Oh, I could go on this side, if it'll let me. No, it won't. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Why can't you do that? All right, well, let's put it on the end one. And then we put the vehicle stuff on this side. Yeah, let's do that. What happened? That's it, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so we'll put the grow bed in here and we'll need to find out what that takes. Uh, that's the exterior. We want an interior. And it's just for titanium. That's easy. Easy peasy. Now, I can only get the one in. Oh, here we go. Let's try and get the OCD in order. Find the center. Oh. It's going there. That'll do. So now we have, don't check, don't check, I'm checking. Oh, it's not far off, mind. Now we have a grow bed. Uh, we can go back to the island and get some seeds and, uh, or the Oh, what was it? Marble, melon, and potatoes, and ideally some of those lantern fruit. So it's going to be quite a quite a trip to that island, uh, but that's all right because with the magic of editing, I can be there in a second. See you there. We we. <laughs> Going for a world record, here we go, get up, wallop, boom, that's fun. And we're here, and now we're here, and we want one of those. And then we'll head for, oops, head for the base that's just down there. And I'll see you there. And here we are. This is the other base. And we want to pick up the Chinese potato inventory full. And wait a sec. And a marble melon. And let's see if we can get out of here. It's not a huge island, but it's well worth a look. And it's very nice on an evening as well. These trees lit up and the plants it does look very nice. It's worth a look and it's not too difficult to find your way around. Helps if you've got a torch when it's dark though. And let's see if we can not kill ourselves. There we go. And whoops, we'll be back at base in no time at all. So we're nearly back. And when we get back, I want to get these uh, fruits planted and then I need to look at repairing the sea moth. It's taken a couple of knocks since I've had it. And uh, I want to check and see if it actually does use the titanium up that's in your inventory. I can't remember if it does, but we'll soon find out. Let's get these things planted while they're still fresh. That'll do. And in we go. Well, thanks very much. Use planter. There we are. So we'll plant a London fruit, the Chinese potato, and the marble melon. And we've got room for something else. So when we pick one of those, if we pick a Chinese potato, we can plant it again there. So that works good. 
That's fine. So the Seamoth is at 79%, and we have two quartz, two, four, uh, six pieces of titanium, and we'll see if this goes down, if it actually uses any resources or not. So repair, right mouse button. Here we are, back to 100% health. And let's have a look at the inventory. No, so it doesn't. It doesn't actually use any resources. Well, that's all right, isn't it? So it's worth just repairing it as often as possible and not worrying about whether you've got the materials for it. So that's good. So we've made some good progress today. We've got some windows in the base. We've got power to the base with a solar panel. Here it is. We've got an extension on, which uh, will let us add some more bays, hopefully. And we have the observatory with some plants growing for food for later. We've also looked at repairing the sea moth, which is good. And uh, what else do we do? Hmm. I think that was it. So we've still got some time and there's a radio signal just come in. Now I am thinking if, thank you. I'm thinking if that is uh, another life pod, we should go and check it out. Let's see. Distress call, here we go. Sounds good. Okay, so we haven't got the exact coordinates, but we have the approximate coordinates. So let's have a look at the data bank. So transmission origin approximately 400 meters west northwest of life pod four. West Northwest. Now, what would be handy for that, obviously, is a compass. So let's hang fire on going and let's build a compass, or at least see what's needed to build one. Uh, equipment, compass, copper wire, and wiring kit. Wiring kit. There we go, and then tools. No nope, equipment, compass. Here we are, great. Well, I can't find LifePod 4's location the dense red grass was over this way earlier, so let's head in that direction. Is it just that one there? Which one's that? That's six. That's the one we want, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's that one because there's stuff there that we haven't haven't done. Great, let's have a look. We'll get that and have a look. What have we got? Data pad. Where's the torch? There we are. And flares. Piece of lead. And that's it in here. All right, let's see if there's anything else around here. Sea moth, right, okay, well we have that. Hmm, well I think that was it. thought there might have been more to it than that, but... There's no other goodies. Well, nothing I can see there. Okay. 
Well, let's do a little bit of exploring while we're here. Let's have a look in here. I'm going to watch the depth here because we're at 160 there now and this will only go to 200 before it starts breaking apart so we'll just have a look around we've got plenty of air we've got a reasonable amount of battery yeah i think we need to get down there to see anything else so we need to try and upgrade the uh, the seamoth really to let us go a bit deeper i could try swimming down should I have a quick look let's have a look as far as i can Um, I'll have this on. Well, I'm not seeing anything particularly exciting there, nothing important anyway, so let's head back up. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything really in there. I don't know, it's worth a look. Okay, well, there's another radio signal, so let's head back and have a listen to that. Well, the last radio signal wasn't up to much, so let's see what this one's like. <laughs> All right, let's go and see what that's about. That's been a pretty chilled out episode so far. Bit of base building. A little bit of exploring and we're in a new area now though. Oops, bumped. Got, um, I might go around that. This signal is uh, 175 meters deep, so we're okay to get down there with the moth. But we're going through this new area, which looks really cool. And there's a new creature. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. All right, let's have a look and see what we've got. The PDA. No goodies. Let's have a little look around. What's that one? Lithium, all oh, right, that's new. Lithium. Let's see what else we've got here. Can't remember what lithium's used for, but we might as well have some. I'm looking at all of these eggs as I see them because there is a special one I've mentioned. And I don't think it's that one. Nope. You'll know when you see it, and I'll grab it if I do see it. Let me get some of this. Yep, 
Yeah, I thought we might have got into some trouble at some point, but there's not a lot happening. It's a, a bit of a quiet day. Could always go looking for trouble. Moon pool, right. We want some of that. We want another one of those. The moon pool is cool. It's the cool pool. Because that's where we park the sea moth and also build all the upgrades. So let's see if we can find any more of those parts. Don't think that's one there. No, but that's cool. Cyclops hole fragment. Excellent. And there we go, that's great news. We've unlocked the moon pool. That is the next order of business back at base. We get one of those built. We can charge up the moth and apply the upgrades. And while we're here, we managed to pick up another bit of uh, two bits of the Cyclops. So it's all looking good. I'm very tempted to go in there and have a look around. I think I might do that. I'm going to leave this right here with the light shining in so we can see and then get back to it for air as well. So here we go. If I can get in. Ah, I've run out of batteries. Oh man. That's all right. Oh, bridge fragment. Excellent. That's, we've got all of that, all of the Cyclops bridge and modification station. We need three of those. We've got, this is the second one now. Need one more of those. Give you a bonus if we get that going as well. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. You know, I think most of the fun of this game is just the the relaxing little scout around, exploring and finding all these little things and because it just looks so good, it's so atmospheric, it's just you do get absorbed in it and yeah, it's a chilled out game with the occasional heart attack well, for me anyway been lucky this episode Nice and, nice and relaxed. All right, let's get back to base. And uh, I think what we're going to do next time is build the moon pool. And then we'll get the modification station going and see if we can upgrade the moth. Yeah. And also I think we should try and get into some trouble. Just to make up for how relaxed this one's been. Whoops. Well, you know the drill. If you've enjoyed the video, then give me a thumbs up. That would be great. And better still, as always, if you could comment and let me know what it is that you've enjoyed, then that would be even better. Thanks again to the new subscribers. And uh, yeah. I'll see you very soon for some more adventures in Subnautica. See you then.